Rick Dangerous back at it again. No, this is actually an image that came out before his last image. That was the image that I said was super clean retro pie image. I still stand by that. And then this image, this is a kid's image. He made this with his daughter, Blue Unicorn. So Rick Dangerous in collaboration with his daughter, giving you a kids only image. So what does kids only mean? Well, all these games are, you know, G rated games, nothing, you know, crazy. The splash screens when you boot up are like DuckTales, uh, you know, uh, He-Man, um, all kinds of different, um, you know, nostalgic cartoons and things like that. Um, and then a lot of this is built to the thing of where hopefully a kid can't break it uh, as well. Um, so let's see what some of the last games. So Bomberman, KOA the Kangaroo, Nickelodeon Rugrats, Mickey's Wild Adventure, World of Illusion. You're also going to notice that these systems are not very advanced. I think the highest system is Dreamcast. So no Sega Saturn. Um, well, he did install Nintendo 64. Um, and then no, like, Amiga or Commodore 64. So pretty much the majority of the games will run just fine on a, you know, an Xbox 360 controller or something like that. This is a 64 gigabyte image, but the file downloads only about 32 gigabytes. And when you boot it up, it's ready for controls. Uh, you just enter in your controls and you uh, you get going. As far as what is installed in here, we're on Epic Noir. You got Mario Blue and Mario Brothers 3 installed on here as well. So some themes to play around with. And um, so far, I mean, everything is really well done. Remember, this is probably, you know, another really clean base image, just on a really fresh version of RetroPie. Nothing crazy. Um, I don't believe it's overclocked to begin with, uh, but I'll have to double check that uh, after. I, I didn't look at the config file. It's, it's running good though, and my Pi is not very hot, so those are good indications. So where should we go from here? Let's check out what we have in the arcade. You got 60 games, and uh, really, where the, where the value in this image is that, you know, it's a fresh booted image. Let's see if there's video snaps as well. Cool. So we got that was really loud, sorry. You got um, your video snaps and you have your, 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 your photos here. Mm -hmm. So nice little arcade set, Ninja Turtles, lots of fun right there. You got Tetris, nice. Um, one of the complaints I saw on Arcade Punk's website is where you can actually find this image is that it doesn't have the Barney game. I, I'm not familiar with the Barney game. Speaking of kids, I have my, my kid on me right now in the Ergo, she is only about two weeks old. So maybe when she's a little older, she will play these games. Um, Game Boy Advance, 21 games. And I, I, you know, he does a really good job of, of you know, the, the resolutions and things. This, this runs really, really well. So um, you got the bezels, you got the resolution. So for the Game Boy Advance, you don't have the high resolution. You have the, the standard resolution. It looks really good. Second Master System, Mega Drive, what do we got here? So lots of SNES and Genesis. There were so many cool games, both Mickey and Donald Duck, uh, James Pond, <laughs> Micro Machines, such a good racing game. Really, really, really fun racing games. The whole Micro Machines franchise, in my opinion, was really cool. Um, Tiny Toons Adventures, lots and lots of cartoons. Nintendo C4, so Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong, Kirby. Mario Kart, Micro Machines again, really cool. Snowboard Kids, Super Mario, Super Smash Bros. So nice, a nice, you know, even uh, collection there. NES, you know, hopefully we see, yeah, Chip and Dale. We see some more Kirby, Excite Bike, Mario Bros., Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did I see, what was I looking for? What was the game I was looking at in Nintendo 64? Uh, uh, Kirby, no Kirby, huh, for NES? I guess that is, that's a pretty tough game, yeah. Oh no, he has a Kirby's Adventure. That'd be a pretty tough game. For, I guess kids gotta be pretty pretty coordinated to figure that one out. Um, PlayStation, 40 games. Okay, Ape, Ape Escape again, a kind of a harder game. Some of the games, but I guess when you say kids, it's like, you know, that's a, that's a very wide range. Um, but I think with the Barney game, a lot of people were saying, you know, it's basically an autoplay game. So you have things on the spectrum all the way from Barney and then all the way up to, you know, uh, more of an adventure game maybe like Donkey Kong like this. You know, you'd really have to be pretty advanced to get through some of those levels, especially considering you only get two lives. Maybe that would be kind of cool is to have all the cheat codes, you know, ready. That would be kind of fun, right? Because when you, if you do the infinite lives on a lot of these games then they all become kid game, right? Uh, okay.
Okay, and you can you can add your own favorites, options menu, very, very simple here. Um, you know, no, it's just a stock stock build, you know, so not much going on there. You can, you know, something I might like to see is removing the options menu here and removing the Cody. Um, just so if a kid's clicking around, you know, they're not going to necessarily break anything or, or get to a screen where you have to come in and like, you know, uh, you know, fix it. Those bezels I was talking about. Looks good, right? So let's play a game I really like, which is Castle of Illusion. Amazing game. As far as what are my top, what are Drew Talk's top picks on this? You know, I think Crash Bandicoot for PlayStation. I think Donkey Kong for SNES. And then here you go for Genesis. There's my top three. But I know there's better games out there. I'm just first thing that comes to my mind. Let's go, let's go hard. Let's go big or go home, right? So conclusion on this, you know, hey, kids image, awesome. You know, retro gaming, bringing the, uh, you know, the arcade to a next generation, amazing, right? Like, that's awesome. That's what it's all about. You know, I hope that when my kids are older, you know, we still have arcades. We have a way to, you know, experience all these great memories that we all had as kids. And, uh, you know, it's fun for the whole family. It's good bonding. You know, I can't, you know, nothing to bash there, just good things to say. Um, beautiful image, good game collection. I think that's the big thing is like, you know, I think a lot of people will take this for granted that like, you know, somebody has painstakingly went through all the games for you. You know, that's pretty cool. You know, not, you know, everyone could say that. Um, as far as me being critical on this, um, my only, you know, qualms with it are in regards to, oh, I thought I had that are in regards to whether or not um you know still the raspberry pi and the raspberry pi as much as i would love it to be a plug and play system it's just not uh in many ways oh look at that you don't even have to take the rope you can just do the oh the flying trapeze okay look at that so maybe this isn't a kid's image maybe it's a uh, Get some skills, you loser image. Um, <clears throat> so, Rick D and Blue Unicorn, groovy, love it, really digging it. It's a small download. There's going to be games on it. Like, bottom line, for 100 bucks, by the time you buy the Raspberry Pi 4 and the controller and everything else and a you know a 64 gigabyte SD card, for 100 bucks, as far as trying to get your kids into retro games, <laughs> you know, this is a good starting package and uh you know i'm digging it um the th other thing too is it's one of those presents where like you buy it for your kids and you might find yourself playing it more than your kids are playing it which uh allows you to justify the pur purchase right so that in itself is awesome oh thought i had that boom uh, anyways, so that's what I think. Let's see if we can get like a combo here. Boom, boom, oh, almost all the way up. So that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.